So we're capsizing again, and this time it's with the bag. Hello, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV, and today we're going to be capsizing a 16. There is zero wind, or as near to zero as you can get, just so that this is an accurate test. And then just with myself, on this occasion, I'm going to use a bag. So what we've actually got here is a general purpose bag, which is about 120 litres. This is from a garden shop. And it's just been reinforced with a little bit of gaffer tape in the bottom, stop it leaking. It's got strong handles and it's got a piece of plastic around the rim which helps to hold it open. And then what we're going to be using is a four to one purchase system which we're going to attach using a carabiner. And then we've got a four to one purchase system. And then quite importantly, this has got a cleat. Okay, so here we are. We are in the capsized position. I've got my bag fitted to the bag. We've got our purchase system. This bag will fold up enough so that you could store it in the trampoline pocket. All right, so what we've done is we fit, for this uh, time, this test, we fitted an extra line Just gonna tie this line, this extra line. You could do what you wanted here. We're gonna tie this so that the bag is in the water. So it's just slowly filling up there. Now I'm gonna tie this on using a bowling. But again, you could do whatever you like here. So to have a look in the bag, let's see how much water we've got in there. It's just under half full. Let's get a bit more in there. Okay, just check in the description below for the specifications of this bag. And again, to go on the Amazon store to uh, get one, if you wanna get one, it's a good idea. All right, so it's just under half full there. We'll go for just a bit more. There we go. Just taking up the slack. And now I'll take the normal capsize writing line. Remember there's zero wind here, so any wind that you do have is going to help. And then we chuck in the line over the top as normal. And then what I'm gonna do is hoist the bag up so it's out of the water. That's enough. It's in the cleat there. And I'm gonna get on the capsized writing line and I'm gonna get so that that rope is behind me. And this is, let's call this a fairly tricky bit. Just almost gonna sit on the bag and just going to keep pushing it back till it's on the shoulders oh and it just slipped off there you've seen so we're going to have to do that again it's important to get it wrong a few times because to show it is there's a little bit of a trick to it. But again, with a little bit of wind, that would have come up there. So I'm really pushing out here, getting the bag up as much as possible. And here it comes. We're at the point of no return, so we could just climb the rope. And there we go. I think that is a successful test of the bag. So the bag's full of water. It's on the separate line. We've got the writing line here as well. We're gonna hoist the bag up just so it's out of the water. Just there is enough. And then we're gonna get on the writing line and we're just gonna push back 
against the bag. Yes, that is filming, I think. Yep. Yes, we're just working our way down the bag. Making sure it doesn't slip off the side. We're still working our way down. We want to get this right up on the shoulders, or towards the shoulders anyway. As it goes higher up, it's making us heavier. And there we are. And now, just holding there. See the mast coming up. Now, the bag is now floating, so just climbing the rope. Woo. I'd say that is a successful test. We could have put more water in the bag, perhaps if you're lighter. I'm 85 kilos and uh, I'll weigh the bag afterwards and put it in the description below how um, heavy the bag actually was, which will tell us how much water was in the bag. Um, yeah, so I think that was good. That should make you much more confident to be able to take your Hobie 16 out single-handed in wind knowing that you'll be able to bring it back upright. So, so far that is my favourite method for bringing the boat back upright in the light winds. Okay, so here we are. We're on the FX1 for further testing. See how the bag helps with riding the FX1. So the preparations we've made We've already got the bag attached to the line. The bag is, has got a bit more water, yeah, it's about half full. So that'll be about 60 liters of water or 60 kilos. Um, so apparently one kilo of water is one liter. You heard it here first. Okay, so I'm just hoisting the bag up just so it's clear of the water. You can of course experiment with how much you are hoisting the bag out of the water. All right, now it's action time. So, same technique as with the 16, just gonna push against the bag. This is much more water we had with the 16, so we'll see how this pans out. So I'm pushing, 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 getting it up to the shoulders. She's coming. I got splashed, but I'd say that was a very successful test. So FX1, Hobie 16, single-handed, zero wind. Bingo, the bag is working. Thanks for watching. Um, thanks for supporting the channel if you've been supporting the channel. Thanks for subscribing. If you're not yet subscribed to Joyrider TV, just hit that subscribe button right now. And uh, thanks to everyone who is supporting the channel using the Patreon system scheme website, Duda. Thanks to Swedish John. Ooh. Swedish John operating camera two today. Um, and thanks to Stefan who actually supplied this bag for the test. Um, I certainly will be stocking up on a few from my Amazon associates store. So head over to there using the link in the description below. Okay, so we'll see you next time for some more catamaran sailing goodness here from Wild Wind Sail Holidays Beach Club in Vasiliki, Greece.